One of the main drawbacks of the Spark 40 by Positive Grid is that it doesn't come with a battery, like for example the Boss Katan Mini or the THR10 or THR30 by Yamaha. Well, there's a solution to that. You can use an external battery and we are going to show you today how we did it. A couple of weeks ago, Martin and I talked about different mods you could do to the Spark 40. And one of them included an external battery attachment to make it wireless. And after a quick Google search, I found a video on YouTube. Uh, I will put a link down in the description. And yeah, he uses an external battery you could also use for, for other products, such as laptops, for example. And it was not available on, on Amazon, but for the different product, this one is by Xoro. It's, as I said, an external battery. And this is the product itself. And yeah, it came, with, it came with a lot of different adapters you could use for other products. The great thing is that for the Spark you don't need an adapter, you can just use the cable as it is. It doesn't need to be this specific product we're having right here. Uh, any, pretty much any battery uh, in this size or form will do. Um, the things you want to look out for is it needs to support 19 volt DC output yeah. and at least 2.5 ampere uh, current uh, on the output as well. And yeah, for the battery you want to look for the most milliampere hours you can get. The more milliampere hours you're having, the longer the battery will last. Um, easy as that. Um, you can calculate the duration of what the amp will uh, last with the battery. Um, that's not always 100% given. Mm -hmm. The problem can be with such batteries that the, the voltage drops after they are depleted mm -hmm. and would not have sufficient voltage to power the amp. We tested this, Lucas tested it, and this was not the case with this specific model right here. The battery can provide up to 4.2 ampere, so we are totally in the safe uh, space for this. So you don't have to be exactly at 2.5 ampere. If it's higher, it just says that it can provide more if needed. Yeah. And 2.5 is the maximum. This specific product has a separate button where you can switch the, uh, the, the volts. It has 12, 16 and 19, so you cannot use it for your standard pedals. Um, but yeah, you can use it for the spark because the 19 volt setting is there. As Martin said, I uh, run a test down here. I set it up to be at around 102 dBs and I got 9.5 hours out of one charge of the battery and I was really impressed. 102 dB is pretty loud, I would say it's like jamming volume. Yeah, for, for at least basement or yeah, if you're not having a too hard drummer it might be sufficient as well. On full blast, uh, with the maximum drain of the amp, uh, when he continuously uses 2.5 ampere, you would get to about 8 hour in theory. You can calculate this for any other battery by milliampere hours divided by 1000, so you get the ampere hours divided to the, by the 2.5 ampere, the, the spark drains on maximum. Mm -hmm. and for 20,000 milliampere hours, that's eight hours. That's eight hours. And we also think that if you use it uh, or you play at bedroom volume, that you can even get more than the 9.5 hours I had. So it's very, very long playing time. Yeah. And to recharge it, it takes about four to five hours. And you cannot use it when it's charging. Uh, so it's not possible to charge and discharge. Yeah, one way to hide the battery, so it's not that visible <laughs> on top uh, is I attached some velcro on the back, um, here on the other side, and then you can just stick it here, and that's basically it. The great thing is also that it still fits in the spark bag that many of you possibly also got. So you don't have to take it off, but of course you can. And just unplug the cable. And that's it. Still fits perfectly. If you want the Spark truly and fully wireless, you can also, of course, use a, a separate wireless unit. And yeah, we just 
demonstrate how easy it works. It has a separate on button, and then you can switch the volt settings. Now it's at 19 volts. Turn it on. solution to make the Spark a wireless amp and hope to see you in the next video. Bye! See ya!